Welcome back to Monster Jam, heading into round number two. Reliance Stadium is sold out, and the fans here can get ready for Star Wars. Look at this lineup in the second round. Grave Digger didn't advance, but these other six are all prime time players, and it'll begin with Tom Mintz, Maximum Destruction, going head to head with Carl Van Horn, who is behind the wheel of Team X. A great look right there at the seven-time champion, and you're on board with CBH. The trucks in opposite corners of Reliance Stadium are both staged, and they're looking for green. Not a good landing for CBH. He noses Team X in, and that gives them a bit of an advantage first time by. Let's see Tom really back on the throttle quickly. Van Horn's running a nice race, but he just doesn't have enough for Tom Ben, who really has this track down. Whoa, 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 what's this? Looks like he might have heard a cylinder. This is big news. And how does this change the complexion of this racing bracket where it appeared Tom was going to be the favorite all night long? He has big time problems, and his time was not in that 19 second range where Creighton and where Lindsey Wink are now hanging out. Yeah, two times in a row, 20.41, 20.47, consistent, but way off the pace of those top runners. Well, we're going to find out what's going on here. Brenda Price, that's what she's here for, is to get you down in the middle of the action. Brenda, what's wrong with Max Z? All right, Tom, we made it to the semifinals, but what's going on? Uh, just, I lost all oil pressure after the last jump there. I got back here, the filter was loose, I screwed it on, fired it up, and I blew it right off. we got to put a different adapter on it. We don't have much time. But I think we'll be able to get it done. You gonna be ready for the semis? We want to see you in there. I sure want to. We're coming up with new ways to lose right now. We found one. Hopefully, we can take care of it. Now, Mintz is set to draw the fast loser out of this round in the semis, but there are no slackers in this round, so he's not going to get a break in the final four. Here comes Lindsey Wink and the Iron Outlaw to square off against Damon Bradshaw and the Air Force Afterburner. Damon getting better every time out, but boy, he is going up against one of the fast ones out there in Lindsey Wink. Maybe a little too much air there. You know, you make more time with wheels on the ground than in the air. It did settle down and landed square at least. But I'll tell you, this kid and the Iron Outlaw is just bad to the bone. He is. Did you see him recover? I mean, it looked like he was going to bounce out of bounds, and he just snapped right back into the turn, and it's a relatively easy win for Lindsey Wink. I want to see the time for the Iron Outlaw. He does it again. He's under 20 seconds consistently. Lindsey's got a shot, and you know, all those races he's won in 06, he's not been winning like that in 07. This is the best we've seen him look all year, but here's Damon Bradshaw. He keeps getting better. Yeah, he just missed the X of that turn right there. Actually, it was the center of the turn that he missed, and he had to check up a little bit. But the next turn, he looked awesome. As you take a look at Lindsey Wink, I mean, all the way through that turn, on the throttle, doing what you have to do. Lindsey Wink has brought his A game to Houston, Texas, and Iron Outlaw is a definite contender to grab the racing victory. You know, I think he feels the confidence in that truck. I mean, he's yeah, changed that yeah. differential in the back of that, and he obviously feels very comfortable with it. There is no question about that. David Smith, the Fiesta King Crunch, will face off with the other member of the two extreme teams still in action. That's Jimmy Creighton and the Bounty Hunter, who was also under 20 seconds in round one. You just love the feel, the thunder when these trucks leave the starting line. They literally shake this huge stadium. And that's not only Creed, but it's David Smith, too, who can make some smoke, as you like to say. And David Smith is not the same one that just took that by run one round to go. He's in the throttle hardcore right now. Jimmy Creighton and the Bounty Hunter, 1972. This is a great year, <laughs> but it's an even better elapsed time here for this round. And look at him come around here with the Bounty Hunter. The truck just looks perfect. Again, some lateral Gs here. Kicks him off to the side a little bit, but that's because they're carrying so much speed out of that turn. Jimmy Creighton and the Bounty Hunter, Lindsey Wink and Iron Outlaw right now look like the two best trucks out there, but they're going to have to meet in the semifinals. So that does help Tom Mintz out a little bit as he and Tim Mazzinis, his crew chief, work hard to get Max B ready for the semifinals and their next. A 
riveting racing bracket is down to the final four at Reliance Stadium in Houston. The second time we've been here this year on speed, the racing is even more thrilling, more intense, I think, than we saw the first time, partially because of this all-star final four. Match D and King Crunch, Iron Outlaw and Bounty Hunter. King Crunch gets the fast loser spot by three one hundredths of a second over Damon Bradshaw on the afterburner. But Ken, the story is Max D and the crash going on to get him ready for the semifinal. Well, there's the filter he was talking about and actually broke part of that housing. These things are under a lot of pressure. I mean, in excess of 100 pounds per square inch inside of those oil lines. So it all has to be correct and it has to be able to withstand a lot of pressure. You hear Tom mentioned Mullet. Well, there's Mullet underneath his crew chief, Tim Bazenis, and he is a busy man right now. You know if you're to work on Tom Mitchell's crew, you better be ready yeah. to strap it on and bring your lunch. <laughs> yeah, because he brings it home in a basket way more times than he does it. So you will learn your way around a monster truck when you work on that crew. Now, you know, Tom's situation, he'll jump in there, but at this point, he really can't get in there and get all messed up. He's got to drive this thing, but he's more of a supervisor right now putting Mullet to work, and Tim is getting it ready. I think he's going to be out there ready to go. It looked like there was still a piece of that housing stuck up in there on the original threads that run down through that filter canister, so they were we're trying to get the old broken piece out so they could put a new one on. Somehow they got it done because he is at the starting line to take on David Smith. This is your first semifinal at Reliance Stadium in Houston. The winner is in the championship race. David Smith wants this victory bad, and he may have a wounded maximum destruction. Whoa, Tom doesn't look wounded. Watch him go through these turns. David Smith has stepped it up. He's in the game. Smith is there with him. Here we come to that Ford finish line. Metz has got him, but not by much. David Smith did not go out of this thing quietly. Yeah, here's the deal. David Smith, the time, 20.93. Max D, the time, 20.81. We're talking about one-tenth of a second. David Smith in the Fiesta King Crunch gets the seven-time world champion all he wants. But this is really one of those strange nights for Tom Mintz and Maximum Destruction. Somehow, though, they keep getting out the track. They keep winning. But remember, they're not as fast as the guys in the lower half. At least they haven't been. He doesn't have to worry about them till the finals, though. This is going to be a great oh, battle oh. here. The boss and the protege. Pull those seat belts down tight. Get up on the wheel. This is what it's all about. Two trucks that are blazing fast. From the same racing team, Jimmy Creighton and the Bounty Hunter, Iron Outlaw, Lindsey Wink. Now, if you're a fan of F1, you know that term, team rules or team orders. There are no team orders here. Jimmy says, Lindsey, you get me, you get me, but I'm going to give you my best. These guys are going after each other. And it is close. It is dead even. Bounty Hunter Long cracks thing. the whip. He pulls it out. Wow. He made a small mistake in that last turn. I thought he was going to get beat. 1985, another just spectacular run there out of the Bounty Hunter, 1972, the previous round, 1975 in round one. He has been very consistent as well. And he's been consistently faster than Tom Mench, who he'll race in the finals. Whoa, Whoa, that is a questionable call right there. We're listening. He might have got away with yeah, one. Yeah, the officials are saying it was clean, but it sure didn't look from our angle like both of those front wheels got up the ramp and onto that first car. Not our call, though. And the officials say it's good. Bounty Hunter goes to the final. What a championship race. Tom Mitz and Jimmy Creighton will go nose to nose for the win when we come back. Monster Jam brought to you by the new F-Series Super Duty. Built to work harder for you. And by Torco Racing Fuel. It ain't bragging if you can back it up. It has come down to the final pairing as the fans get ready for the Monster Jam Championship race. What a dandy they have. You see how the brackets are breaking down. You know, you can always keep up to date with results everywhere we go by logging on to MonsterJamOnline.com. Check out results, upcoming events, get tickets, you can even shop online. And hey, click over to SpeedTV.com while you're there. And you'll see the results from Houston will show you that we've got a championship race matchup of Tom Nentz and Maximum Destruction against Jimmy Creek and the Bounty Hunter. Now remember, the Max D team has just thrashed to create a solution to this problem where they couldn't keep that oil filter on. And he was able to get enough to beat David Smith in the semis, but he's nowhere near, at least in that round, as fast as Jimmy Creighton was in the Bounty Hunter.
Yeah, he's about a full second off the pace right now of what Jimmy Creighton has been all night long. And here's a look at Jimmy Creighton's truck, and I think there's some left inside of that truck. I mean, he didn't have a perfect run here. Right there, I mean, he had to check up a little bit. He's trying to get both tires on the stack. We felt like maybe he dodged a bullet. Maybe he got away with one right there. Nonetheless, you said it before, we don't make that decision. The officials make that call. He is going to the final, and it's going to be a tough battle for Tom Men. You know, he had to crack the whip and get everything he could out of his Ford Expedition to beat his teammate. Lindsey Wink was right there. Now, Tom Mintz, Maximum Destruction, who has lost only once on this program all year in head-to-head -head racing, will face off against one of his bitter rivals, Jimmy Creighton and the Bounty Hunter, for all the marbles in Houston, Texas. It's time for the championship race. Creighton is so strong off the line, but Tom is right there with him. Oh, and it looks like Creighton is broke. Tom Mintz at maximum destruction will win for the second straight time in Houston's Reliance Stadium. It's a no contest. Something goes wrong with Jimmy Creighton and the Bounty Hunter. And right now I can't tell you what it is. He just pulled over to the side. I don't know if it's a driveline issue, something transmission-wise. It's not like the motor was still running. And we'd just be speculating at this point from up here, but... Tom had to get through some issues with his truck. He was able to do that. You know, that's part of the competition. I mean, you have to forge your way through some adversity. This one really laid out for Tom. While he was struggling, he continued to stay away from Iron Outlaw and stay away from Bounty Hunter. And as the fans salute him, when it came championship race time, Tom was able to survive. And the Bounty Hunter did not. Maximum destruction is your winner. Somebody lobbied for a helmet with that sign. <laughs> Let's see if we can watch Jimmy Creighton here and find out what went wrong. So far, everything's looking good. And loses power right in the middle of that turn. You mentioned it before, the truck was still running. It sounded to me like he broke something in the drive line because it just spun up. So you got to think possibly a, an input, output shaft, something in the transmission area. Something, yeah, something in the transmission there. for sure. Tom Mintz. Boy, can you imagine the smile on Tom's face? Not that he wants anything bad to happen to the Bounty Hunter, but trying to win this thing. He was on the other side, did not see what happened to the Bounty. When he comes around that turn, it's like, I've won. And look at that, man. He is jacked up right there. Well, he is fired up, and Brenda Price is going to go over and talk to our racing winner. Ladies and gentlemen, your champion, race champion tonight in Houston, Tom Mintz and Maximum Destruction. All right, Tom, you had problems all night. Take the race. Hey, we had a ton of problems. Me and the mullet man, we kept after it, kept after it. Unfortunately for Jimmy, his problems showed up in the finals. That's where we needed it most. The truck ran pretty good. We chased it all night, but hey, it paid off. So let's take a look at how this interesting night, amazing night in many ways, unfolded. Remember, Adam Anderson was out right off the bat because he got a bad qualifying effort. Drew Lindsey Wink in round one. The two extreme trucks were the fastest all night. But in the end, Tom Mintz didn't have to battle him until the finals. And that's when Bounty Hunter had his issues. Tom Mintz is your winner. How about our Ford Bulls moving tonight? We're going back to the semifinals. Iron Outlaw on the far side of the screen. Bounty Hunter on the near side of the screen. The difference, a quarter of a second to the boss. Jimmy Creighton won that round, but ultimately falls in the finals to Tom Mintz and maximum destruction. Well, early on, Adam Anderson continues to struggle in racing and be great in freestyle, and we'll see him in freestyle the next time we come back here on Speed. The two extreme trucks, as we're down just a couple events now before the World Finals, it looks like they are really getting to where they want to be heading into the Monster Jam World Finals. We know Jimmy Creighton will be there. He hopes that Iron Outlaw and Scarlet Bandit took big steps tonight toward earning berths in the championship. And Texas was really treated to some spectacular trucks here tonight. Look at the fans respond to your racing winner. And is he pumped up? Well, when you work that hard, you thrash that hard, it all comes out victorious. That's a big moment for Tom Benz and Maximum Destruction. And again, hats off his entire crew, led by crew chief Tim Mazenis. For Ken Stout and Brenda Price, I'm Scott Douglas. It's been a thrill to have you along for Racing from Houston. Tom Mentz and Maximum Destruction, your racing winner for the second time in Reliance Stadium. But who will get the second freestyle of the year here? That's what we find out next time on Speed. We'll see you then.